I'm back. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Sarah and I'm a mommy of three. Here on my channel, you'll find lots of motherhood content, vlogs, clean motivation, and more. If that's something you're into, then definitely subscribe hey hey y'all i am back and i'm feeling much better i'm back and i'm better <laughs> y'all it's been a little minute it's been like a month and a half maybe since i took my little break away from youtube and that break was definitely needed y'all when i tell you <sighs> I needed a break. I needed that break. But anywho, we are back. And um, today is going to be a little self-care Sarah day, self-care Saturday. Tomorrow is my birthday, y'all. So we are preparing for my birthday. We're just going to have a little self-care day, nail salon, Starbucks, just, you know, some time away from the kids. Right now, if you can't, if you can't tell, I'm not in my car. This is not my car. I'm in hubby's car. Hubby was feeling good today talking about go ahead, take my car and go ahead and have a nice little day to yourself. So I'm in the little old BMW M3. If you don't know, my husband is like into cars. He loves cars. He loves his car. Like you can't touch, breathe, eat, sleep, nothing in his car, you know? So I'm surprised. He's like, go ahead and take the car. I am driving his car all by myself. What? <laughs> that is unheard of. But anywho, we're about to go into this little Harris Teeter real quick because I want some Starbucks and this is the only Starbucks nearby. So we're going to go in here and, and get my little drinky drink. If you don't know my drink, I'm about to tell you it. You should know if you know. It is that caramel ribbon crunch, extra caramel, extra crunch. So let's go ahead in this Starbucks or this Harris Teeter and get my drink and let's continue on with my day. Let's go. Oh, your keys Okay, now that we secure the goods, we can go to the nail salon. Let's go. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. It just took me like a hundred years to park the car because I didn't know how to change gears. I only know how to go into drive. I don't know how to go into reverse, or I didn't know how until now. I was like in the middle of the road, or not the road, the middle of the um, parking lot trying to like put it in reverse or put it in, yeah, reverse to back into the spot. My husband was like, make sure you park away from everybody. Don't park next to no cars. So that's exactly what I did. I'm all the way in the back of the parking lot. Like all the way in the back. There's no cars next to me. I got to walk all the way up there to get to the nail salon. But yeah, the camera's in a weird angle right now. Hopefully y'all can like see me. Oh, look at my hair, y'all. Oh my goodness. Anywho, let's go ahead. Oh. Can you see me? <laughs> Let's go ahead into this nail salon, y'all, and get a Petty and Manny. Let's go. Take a look inside your heart. Is there any room for me? I would have to hold my breath to get down on my knee. Because you only want to hold me when I'm looking good enough. Did you ever hold me? Would you ever picture us? Every time I pull my hair, out, is any out of fear? Find me ugly and one day you'll disappear Cause what's the point of cracking it was never even mine Did you ever want me? Was I ever good enough? Hey y'all, so I am back in the house. I had a wonderful time out. Sarah's self-care Saturday was a success. <laughs> I got a little white little manicure. I always get, you know, the basic little gel manicures, nothing special. I got white and I got a little French tip on the toes. And I got my eyebrows done for the first time in like five years, y'all. For the first time in like five years. Yeah. So yay for me. We're doing things, you know. I am about to turn 28. My birthday is tomorrow, March 31st, aka Easter, because tomorrow's Easter or Easter fell on my birthday this year, whatever. Anywho, so I am like, I don't know. I feel like I was going to tell a little, 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 little story time or a little not TED talk, but let me just, I'm just talk to y'all for a little bit. Give you a little life update of what's going on or what's, what was going on, what happened. So, I am turning 28 tomorrow. I low-key feel like I just hit like a 
it's not even a midlife crisis because I'm not even like midlife like how old do you have to be to have like a midlife crisis I don't know I just went through like a little mental breakdown to where like I just needed to like get away like I needed to be around friends and family so I was gone for like a month me and the kids went to go visit my family visit my best friend shout out to my bestie hey Kara if you're watching this thank you so much for having us we had a great time <laughs> I just needed to be away for a little bit and just, you know, be around, be around support, be around that village, you know? It says it takes a village. It takes a village and I need to be around mine. So, spent some time away just to clear my head. I feel like I was very overwhelmed with mother, blah, 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 motherhood. <laughs> motherhood really, like, took a toll on me. Just... The day to day feeling like I was living in the matrix, like every day felt the same for me. And I was losing my mind, y'all. Like I was legit losing my mind. So I just needed really to like take that time away and like really get my thoughts together. Just have the love and support around me to uplift me and all of that. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I was receiving so much like love and messages and comments. I know I haven't like replied back to any comments for real like i saw the comments but i just wasn't in like what is it the mind frame in the right mind to reply back at that time but i just want to say thank you thank you thank you like i read everybody's comment i was like feeling good like reading knowing that there's people that I don't even know people out there like y'all out there i don't even know like i don't even know y'all like you know in my day-to-day -day life but y'all care love and support me like that just feels so good like to have people out there that care about you that love you that support you or have support for you in the family like that just blew my mind that just really blew my mind so i appreciate and love you guys so much and thank you so much for being patient with me and still being by my side here on this little journey or my little um break away from youtube but with that being said i pray that i continue to push through continue to stay strong continue to feel you know good in these moments that i'm having recently and just you know push through just push through motherhood because nobody told me how hard it would be like the word or the phrase stay at home mom like some people who who haven't been in it think oh you're just a stay at home mom you're home all day must be nice to be like you know for kids all day every day or just you know not quote unquote working but like i did not know like how hard on your mental physical too physically too but like on your mental how hard it could be like being around your kids 24 7 like don't get me wrong i love my kids to death but like mentally y'all i was going through it but yes thank y'all for just you know for the love support and like i just love how i have this community on youtube who you know similar there's some moms who are going through like similar things that i'm going through and i'm just so happy i'm able to like relate and like you know just vent to other mothers who have been through this or who are going through it too like we can like lean on each other so like i'm just so thankful for you guys as well but yeah a lot of changes have happened too so because we were gone for like a month and a half we had to take ari out of her preschool because we were we were away for like a month and a half and the preschool that she went to y'all not cheap not cheap they're like yeah you can take a little break but you still got to pay for it who's paying who's paying for their child to go to school if they're not going to be there N not us we're saving coins over here so we had to um unenroll her from her school and um it's about to be summer in a couple of months so we're not gonna re-enroll her we're just gonna take the summer or take this time to like just you know just be together and come up with our own routine she does start kindergarten next fall so this is a time for us to like really get her prepared for kindergarten and y'all she's doing so well she's learned so much my girl my girl's smart <laughs> So um, for the past like week or so, I've been doing like homeschooling at home, just like one-on-one -on -one lessons with her. I am trying to get her reading. We are working on sight words right now. I think her favorite subject or her strongest subject right now is math. Like that girl is adding, counting, subtracting. Like she's doing um, math problems. Like she loves math, but you know, 
we're gonna like do some reading or get into the reading soon i did um i was influenced to buy hooked on phonics i was like scrolling on um what was it instagram the other day and i seen like this thing pop up for like hooked on phonics it was like oh one month free or whatever pay one dollar and we'll send you the books in the mail and you get the um download the app or something something was free for the month or whatever so i was influenced to do that so i'm waiting for those um workbooks to come in the mail and we're gonna be doing some hooked on phonics i feel like when i was a kid i did hooked on phonics i don't know but anywho yes life is slowly moving on we are trying to trying to get into like a new routine over here you know with ari and like homeschooling and then i still have you know aj and ava they're doing well as well i'm still or well, hmm I'm still trying to get AJ potty trained. The biggest thing with that is like, he has problems with his bowel movements. So like, that's the only thing that's like, like really hindering us from like really succeeding in this whole potty training thing. I don't know why it's taking us, well, I don't know why it's so hard. Like, I feel like this is like the hardest thing of like parenthood or motherhood with toddlers like the potty training phase or whatever it's just it's just a lot it's a lot <laughs> and we have miss ava who's like doing doing everything i feel like she's slowly hitting her terrible twos she'll be two in august y'all and like lately she just been doing whatever like she knows she's the youngest and she knows she can get away with a lot <laughs> she's been pouting lately i'm like ava and she'll just like pout and like cross her arms i'm like she's so cute but it's like no i don't want her having these bad habits but she's just too too stinking cute but yeah everybody is doing well the family is well i'm working on my mental i'm just working on getting into like a better you know space mentally and yeah I plan to continue to vlog and hopefully be more consistent vlogging now that my little break is done. Now that I'm feeling a little better, I plan to be more consistent on my YouTube page. So hopefully, if you're if this is your first time watching, hopefully you stick around, subscribe, you know, to see, you know, how I conquer motherhood dealing with my mental depression and anxiety and all that other stuff. <laughs> Once again, thank y'all so much. Like I really, 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 really appreciate each and every one of y'all. Anywho, the kids are gone. Hubby, the, hubby took the kids out, so they're out for the day. I'm just in here chilling. My in-laws may come over today, and if they do, hopefully they can watch the kids so me and hubby can go like on a little date night and just have some time away, you know? My birthday is tomorrow, so hopefully we can have this little date night. That would be the perfect birthday present if they do come down and and are able to watch the kids so we shall see i am about to just lay right here for a little minute i'm about to watch me some gray's anatomy i started gray's anatomy all over again like gray's anatomy is like my comfort show like you know you, you know how like you have like a comfort food or whatever gray's anatomy is my comfort show i can just lay on the couch and just like watch gray's anatomy so i am on season two episode four you know it's like 20 seasons of that show so we shall see how far i'll get i'm just gonna lay here for a little bit watch a couple of episodes i'm gonna get up and just clean up a little bit and get the house you know in order in case we do you know go out tonight and yeah so let's see i will check back in once i'm doing something interesting <laughs> Happy about to have a little date night out for my birthday. I'm feeling real cute. A nice little um, what do you what do you, what do you call this? A uh, um romper. A nice little romper. Got the curls out. So let's have fun tonight. Oh. Don't want it just like that. Huh? Tell me when you're ready. Boom. 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 Any other way? There you go. Boom. I met so many men and it's like they're all the same. My appetite for loving is now my hunger pain. And when I'm feeling sexy, who's gonna come for me? My only problem is there is good morning guys it is the next day y'all 
28 years ago, on this day, a queen was born, and that queen is she. She is me. Ha oh, not already foot in the um video. But anywho, happy birthday to me. Uh, today is March 31st. It's also Easter, and it is my birthday. And we are out and about, about to try to find a, um, a brunch spot to go to to celebrate my birthday. But like I just said, it is also Easter, so everything is packed. <laughs> So, yes, let's go ahead and enjoy the day. I'm going to bring y'all with. We might have some other plans, too, with family. We'll see. I'm not Mom, sure I'm yet. I'm going to take the video, too. What do you want to say? I'm going to say today, yesterday we brought Mama a cake, some java, a strawberry chocolate, egg, and a lollipop, and cookies. Yes, yeah, so yesterday they came home and they brought me a big old chocolate cake some chocolate covered strawberries some flowers some cake pops cookies a bunch of sweets donuts i think there was too a bunch of sweets so we have a bunch of sweets to eat when we get home but anywho we are at the gas station right now papa jack is pumping the gas and he just went inside to probably get some waters because it is hot it is 80 degrees out here today y'all 80 degrees y'all just know i'm feeling myself i got me a nice little cute little dress on feeling good looking good let's enjoy the day Lovely lunch, everybody. Everybody doing good? <laughs> Say one, 